Hi everyone and welcome. I was looking on AliExpress recently and I came across this. This is a little audio amplifier kit and it's based on the LM386 audio amplifier and I thought this would be really good fun to try out with this. This is a little personal FM radio kit that I recently did a review on so if you're interested please pop across my channel. This only costs $3 but obviously it's designed to just take a headphone sort of um, connection there rather than a speaker. I thought this would be really good fun to see how it sounded through this little amplifier. So let's open this up and see what we've got. You get a little circuit diagram, as you can see there, but to be honest, the PC board itself actually comes with all the components uh, identified on, so hopefully construction shouldn't be too much of a problem. The LM386 itself, this is the LM386 N1 version, and the N1 is good for around about 325 milliwatts, so that's plenty to be honest, just to drive a small speaker. Luckily, it comes in an 8-pin DIL package, so that's really neat, because a lot of the kits also provide sort of um, SMD sort of versions or surface mount versions, and they're a real pain to solder. They even give you a little 8-pin sort of socket there for it, which is a neat touch volume control that also is full size rather than a skeleton type and it will give you a little knob there just to sort of make life just a little bit easier so even though this is budget they've actually put a little bit of thought into it so what i'm going to do now i'm going to assemble it solder it all up and then we're going to see how she sounds so let's get on with the build Okay, so our little amplifier board now is fully populated. I've also connected up a loudspeaker, simply just connecting to the audio output pins there, as you can see. I've also made up a small power supply in the shape of a PP3 clip connected to a small female jack. Just to remember to make the center pin there the positive. I'm just going to connect this up now to our little amplifier board. LED light comes on, which is good. What I'm going to do is going to pop up on the screen for you the schematic diagram for this little amplifier. The reason for doing this is this little LM386 chip has actually got a neat little party trick. It's as much as you can actually adjust the gain. If you look at pins 1 and 8, then if there's nothing connected to them, then the internal resistance sets the gain at 20. However, if you connect a 10 microfarad capacitor between pins 1 and 8, then the gain is increased to 200. And in fact, that's what our little board has got. And if you want something in between, simply put a 1.2k resistor in series with that capacitor, and the gain reduces to around about 50. Okay, back to our little amplifier then. What I want to do is just connect up this little personal FM radio kit that I spoke about earlier on in the video and just see how she performs. So I'm just going to simply just connect to the audio out and then connect to the audio in on the board. I'm going to put the speaker on the cloth because it can vibrate on this board a little bit. I'm going to turn it up. Volume works okay. That's actually not bad. What I'm going to do is just connect up a little MP3 player and just see how that performs. What I've got is this little TDV26. This is a useful little device to be honest. This is an FM radio com MP3 player. It's also got Bluetooth. Spreak on the back if you wish it. But it's only cost a few dollars. And I've actually done a review on this if you want to uh, pop across my channel and have a look at that. But I'm simply just going to connect the audio out on that. So I'm just going to put a USB stick in there. Connect up to the audio out. Let's switch it on. Turn it up. Played by USB drive.
That's actually not bad at all. I'm just going to switch that off. Okay, so there you have it. It's a little LM3 ID6 audio amplifier kit. To be honest with the price, it's an absolute bargain. You can get yourself a few of these because perhaps you want to do some audio work or maybe you repair radios and you just want a sort of trusted amplifier just so you can sort of look at the front end of your radios. There's all sorts of things you can do with this. So anyway, appreciate you watching. Hopefully you found it useful. If you did, give me that thumbs up. As always, appreciate you watching and I'll catch up with you soon.